good forest stewardship, which is akin to good forest management, we're just emulating the natural processes we see the forest do. Protecting water is an essential process that forests do. I have 10 grandchildren and they're going to need clean water and there's going to be twice as many people in Arkansas when they get to be my age than are here right now. They all are going to need clean water. Lake Houston provides today a relatively small amount of our surface water, but we're expanding our existing 80 million gallon per day treatment plant to 400 million gallons per day. We will ultimately be at a point where 80% of our drinking water source comes from surface water supplies. Forest management is paramount. Houston has been growing so prolifically over the last uh, 10 years that if we don't do it now, it's just gonna make it that much harder to protect it in the future. As a utility, we're really in the service of public health. So it's our job to ensure a safe, drinkable product to our customers. In 2007, our board adopted a watershed protection plan and strategy. We created a funding mechanism in order to purchase properties throughout the watershed. So our fund was actually ratepayer driven, a 45 cent per meter per month fee that was tacked onto every water bill, very transparent and black and white. It said watershed protection fee. Watersheds in general are large. In the Savannah River watershed, for example, we have 2.1 million acres. That's a big goal for anyone, any one utility, any one entity to wrap their arms around. The Savannah River Clean Water Fund is basically a mechanism that the water utility partners in Georgia and South Carolina use to protect the Savannah River watershed. We're a collaboration of two states, uh, five different water utilities, and a nonprofit as our partnership. Landowners are really critical to this whole process. Most of the lands in a watershed are owned privately. They're not public lands. We rely on our landowners to have excellent stewardship of their property to protect our watershed, but they can still be working and be a source of revenue for that property owner. The land that we're standing on today is in the northeastern portion of Houston County, part of the Natchez River watershed and backs up to the Davy Crockett National Forest. I feel a very, very strong connection to the land. Oh, first of all, I just, I love being in the trees and being with wildlife, but uh, it offers the benefit of income through, uh, through harvesting of timber. It offers the opportunity for, um, for hunting and recreation. This land does have a conservation easement on it. It's really more of a framework to make a commitment that you are going to manage your land well and it's not giving up significant income to do so. There are ways to manage land make a profit, enjoy the land, and benefit society all at once. And a conservation easement is one of the best ways, I think, to achieve that goal. But you can do it without a conservation easement through good stewardship. Water, as it runs off the surface of the earth, it carries pollutants and sediment and debris, even litter with it. Roots act to anchor uh, soils and sediment. These riparian buffers act as a filter slowing the pace of the water and removing these pollutants before the water returns to our streams and rivers and lakes. The ultimate goal in keeping forests as forests is to preserve our water quality. Managing land to not only benefit you but to benefit the greater good is one of the best feelings I think a person can have. The key to our success is our partnership, is the collaborative effort. Houston Water can't do it alone. Um, Houston Water needs to build partnerships with other entities that have, I would say, skin in the game. We get a lot done when we work together. Healthy forests are critical to the future of our drinking water. Healthy forests are critical. 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 Critical to the future of our drinking water.